How's she going, my son, and welcome back to Undertale. Now, the, part of this episode I've actually already recorded, but I recorded it in monitor capture, and when I was playing the game in full screen, it didn't actually record uh, the visuals, it just got my audio. So I'm re-recording the fight with Asgore, but after the fight with Asgore, all that was actually recorded before this part. So this episode's a little out of continuity with itself. Just thought I'd let you know. And just to let you know, I have the ability to remove and add the Omega Flowey fight now whenever I wish. It's quite interesting. One of the best ways to fight someone who's abusing the meta narrative is to abuse it right back. I mean, if you think about it, that's what we do to beat Sans at the end of a genocide run. He does, he acts on his meta knowledge of the turn system. The idea that his turn never ends, since if he doesn't want it to. And yet he was attacking us in the UI, so we simply do the same. Just a thought. Now I have to admit, I'm doing the Asgore fight over again mostly to get the flowy text at the end of it. I, f I killed Asgore at the end of the fight in the recording I lost, and he said, he called me by name, and, s and told me that I hadn't forgotten that the world is kill or be killed. I'm kind of curious now what he says if I mercy, because remember, this file is after I aborted a genocide run. And I forgot the pie again, goddammit. Wrong button! Aha! One of my favorite attacks in this game, like, entirely. Why wasn't that a crit? Hmm. Maybe I was a little after the bar. I got like one crit in there, but it didn't quite count, I guess. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, nice. Move too soon. Damn. Crap, crap. Crap, crap, crap. So close.
is actually going a little worse than I did last time. Oh, well, surprised he didn't slap me there. Apologies for the lack of commentary, I'm just kind of concentrating here. Ah. The second I start talking, I start taking damage. Alright. Oh. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike, and free us from this terrible prison. Then, I would destroy humanity, and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. I'll say it again because the recording was lost, but your majesty, it's been an honor dueling with you, but this time... I'm going to spare you. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... like a family. Not if a certain flower, flower bastard has anything to say about it. Blah. And fuck. Mike, you haven't learned a thing in this world. It's kill or be killed. So he basically just calls you by name anyway. I think that's the same text, even if I hadn't done a genocide run before. But it's interesting. It's interesting. Anyway, cutting to the rest of the footage. So he did call me out by name. So I have a feeling if I didn't, if I spared Asgore in that fight, he would have uh, reacted differently. Now I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing the data I'm. I should be seeing. No, apologies, there's going to be a shortcut, because I kind of don't want you guys to see my Steam information. You know. Oh, it's Flowey Tail. All right. They all disappeared without a trace. Oh my shit, the title bar is going nuts! And then it becomes Flowey Tail. Oh my god, that's so cool. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm noticing that the data isn't getting tinkered with in the notepad there. Or at least it isn't yet. Ow. 
Howdy! It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Mmm, I can feel them wriggling. Aw, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers... Monsters. Humans. Everyone. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. <laughs> oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry, your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. <laughs> what? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Now we're gonna loop getting killed a few times, because he does say different things when you get killed. The big thing I want to know is, um, is he actually creating save files when he does his save state abuse attacks? Oh, I apologize for the content of this video being kind of small, but, uh, you know, we gotta see everything right now. Kind of cool to see it in, like, crisper definition as well, since, you know, full screen kind of gets a little fuzzy around the edges. Oh boy. Oh boy, I should just, yeah, I should just be letting him kill me anyway. Hit me, damn it! Hit me! You call that hitting me? Come on! Hit me, you pussy! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up. Okay, now, I might have to reload this file. Uh-oh, uh don't wanna, don't wanna tink, I don't wanna tinker with it. Uh, don't save. Now, I wanna see if, yeah, I'm in flowy mode now is what this is. This line of dialogue here. So I wanna, I'm going to copy this for later. Uh, again, a brief cut, I don't want you guys seeing my Steam info. <laughs> Did you really think I was going to be satisfied killing you only one time? I certainly hope not, Flowey, because we're going to be here for a while. I dare say you might even get sick of me. My soul so badly? Choke on it! Come on, kill me. Kill me, kill me, kill me. Come on. In. Blit. Okay. Idle fun fact! The infinite ha 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 text at the end there before the game crashes, that's a reference to the Halloween hack where if you die to the last boss in that, the game actually freezes up with an infinite ha 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 loop that you have to actually hard reset to get out of. So no, that doesn't alter. But if we open it again... 
It's the FFF. Died twice. So I wonder. If I set this to zero, does it act like the fight never happened? Does it act like it was the very first time I've played the fight? Apologies for another cut. Do you really think you could run away? He was acting like I closed the game, because I never died. Interesting. You might be a horrible eldritch abomination made of the souls of several humans, mechanical bits, and flower matter, but I exist outside your little universe. I see the little bits and bites that make it up. And I can toy with them. How long is it gonna kill, take to kill me when I don't even when I don't even move? Wow! Didn't even hit me there. Come on, hit me! Hit me, you pussy! Thank you. Didn't take too long. A little under a minute. Okay, so if we open this again, the death value is 1. So we were on 2 deaths. So if we alter it to 2, it should be back where we left off. Again, another shortcut. Pathetic. Now you're really gonna die. Oh, Flowey. You can kill Frisk as many times as you want. He's just my avatar. You can't harm me any more than a goldfish can harm its owner from inside the bowl. You're more than welcome to try, though. It's a spectacle to watch. Now he doesn't even bother with the ha ha ha, he just, you know, quits. And we should be on three now, shouldn't we? Oop. Yep. Alright, another shortcut. Hee <laughs> hee Do you even realize what will happen if you defeat me? Oh, I have a hunch. I'm gonna get a little drink. Well, he kills me again. It's interesting how the damage seems to work in this fight. I think how it works is that your hit points are just being divided in half every time he hits you, which is why it seems like it takes him a long time to kill you, but the first couple of hits do a lot of damage, because it's literally cutting your health in half. But it takes longer and longer to kill you when your half is already cut in half. And we're up to four. It's kind of it's fun to watch this whole process come through, and I hope it is for you guys as well. Uh, an again, another shortcut. I apologize. Don't you get it? There's no such thing as happy endings. This is all that's left.
we go. Again, another shortcut. Are you really that desperate? <laughs> And dead again. I believe we are up to six. We are up to six. Although he's technically killed us seven times, but I've... Are you letting me kill you on purpose? Sicko. <laughs> well, I am. I'm not deriving any pleasure out of it, if that's what you're wondering. Although I am... I am getting a little giddy. Just tinkering with you, Flowey, as I'm sure you've tinkered with so many things in the world before I showed up. It is fun. how he eventually gives up on the whole fake game over screen thing. I guess even he gets bored of that. Another shortcut. Honestly, fighting you is pretty fun. So even if you are a sicko, I'll take it. Oh, well, uh, thank you, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> I have to admit, this is one of the funner fights in the entire game. I'd honestly put this fight over uh, Hyper God Death Azrael, because this fight actually has some stakes to it. Because if you die, you gotta reload again. I mean, even if there are the save points. When you get to the certain points of the fight. But you can lose progress, right? Shortcut again. Maybe you're get you're wondering if I ever get tired of winning. Want to see my answer? He knows that we at this point people are screwing around to find out if he says anything. So. You know, he's indulging our curiosity that he would have experienced in this same situation. It's curious. And I like it. What are we up to? We are up to nine deaths. Don't you have anything better to do? Not really. I'll be completely blunt, I don't have anything better to be doing.
And we should be up to 10 deaths, yes. So... Okay, now he's in a loop. Don't you have anything better to do? Aping his own lines as Asriel in the flower bed, and aping uh, his own line at the start if you reset right after... If you reset a bunch of times before getting anywhere. You know, his, his uh, introduction speech. And also his mother, if you go to the very start of the game after beating her but not before leaving the ruins. This game is full of bookends like that, and I like it. I think I'll kill him, let him kill me one more time. I don't think anything will change. And I think I'll cut this episode short for now. There's gonna be a lot of cutting and stuff in this one, so, you know. Yeah, I think at this point, he's in a loop. I didn't- I never heard some of that other dialogue he did, though. The, like, about- about, uh, wondering if he'd ever get tired of winning. So that's interesting. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. The Twitter, uh, description- uh, uh, sorry. In the description are my Twitter, my Tumblr, and the subscription. Um, hopefully this type of episode doesn't happen too often, because I have to admit, a lot of the- footage of this episode was on the very tiny middle of the screen and wasn't as fun to look at, but I hope you were at least as curiously intrigued as I was about how Undertale works under the hood, which is a big part of this whole process. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and ciao for now.